everyone. This is Rusty Safari Planet. I'm Rusty and this is a planet. There's been a gopher who has been sticking his head out of a hole for the last 10 or so minutes. And I'm trying to capture him. Oh my God, can you see him? He's, that's his head. He's in the process of throwing dirt out. All right, let me try to get closer. All right, you can, if you just watch, you'll see his little head stick up. Um, you know, I think when he's burrowing, oh my god, oh, no, that's not him. When he's burrowing, he brings the dirt out, you know, to give him space. But it's also really cool because then he covers, oh, he just threw some more out. Oh my god, see his head? He throws um, a mound out and then fills the hole to not let predators in when he's done. Oh my god. He was so cute. The sun must be so bright. I think that's why they have tiny little eyes. Because um, you know he lives underground. And uh, it's almost 100 degrees here in this uh, Arizona desert afternoon. And um, I think it's probably about 30, I'm going to guess 30 degrees cooler underground. So it must be quite shocking for them when they do stuff like this, right? It's not real really here. I know they have tiny little ears. Um, I actually tried to save a little baby, like a newborn, that I think a snake had gotten out of the hole. Oh, maybe he heard me then. And uh, the snake dropped it, and I just found him laying there. And I, I had him for maybe three days. It was a valiant attempt, but you know, it wasn't. There wasn't. <laughs> there he is. Oh my God. Looks like he's smelling actually. Huh. He really is. He's sniffing the air. I think he must sense that I'm here. I'm probably about four feet from him. Um, but you know when you're in the dark and then you walk in the light and you can't see very well? I'm guessing it might be something like that for him. Oh my god, he's so cute. He needs to be careful though. I mean, there's a lot of predators. If I were him, I would not come out of that hole that far. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I feel bad for him because there's really not many weeds in that spot he came out of. Not as much as there are in other places. Um, one time I saw a whole plant that was probably about two feet tall just go and get pulled down into the ground. <laughs> oh, so cool. Um, I know they like roots, but it looks like he's, he's very much um, into whatever he's finding. Oh my God, he's so cute. Oh, he heard, he heard that. Okay. He still feels safe though. Oh my gosh. But yeah, he, he's sensing something. For sure. Okay. I wonder how long he's going to do this. Um, I will do a part two. Oh, he just went in because the hummingbird flew really close to him. If I was a cat, he would be so screwed. Oh, my dad was telling me how an old neighborhood cat used to get these. I'm glad the cat's gone. <laughs> um, so when he starts filling this hole in, I'll do a part two to this. Oh, my God, he's so far out. Holy cow. Wow. Whoa. All right. Like I said, um, if he starts filling that hole to cover it, I'm going to do a part two to this. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.